You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Oregon Scientific for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Really excited to check out this cool looking globe from Oregon Scientific. Now, this is not just an ordinary globe. This is the Smart Globe Explore AR. And the AR stands for Augmented Reality. So those of you getting back into school, this is probably the perfect globe for you to learn about our universe and our Earth. Now, thanks to Oregon Scientific, by the way, for sending this to me to check out on video. Now, this is suitable for ages five and up, but it actually works for three different age groups. Let me turn this on the side here. You will see Explore Augmented Reality app is ready to experience updatable games and content, portable and rechargeable on the little smart pen which looks like a space shuttle which is kind of neat and then this is the other side kind of takes you through the solar system the earth's interior your device dinosaurs landmarks and animals along with of course learning about the geography and everything else on the earth and this is really the panel that kind of goes over everything here updatable for three age groups look at that five to eight nine to fourteen and fifteen plus there's 20,000 pieces of information built in, 220, uh, 220 plus countries to explore, 42 games, 12 months free smart pen download, and the games are updatable. Look at that. It opens up so you can look at the Earth's core and then our universe. All right, so I'm excited to check this out, as you can tell. When I come back, then I will have it out of the box, and we will learn about this globe. All right, here we go, all set, taken out of the box, excited to check out my globe. Of course, it spins great. Now, the uh, box had four of these locking plastic clips on the bottom, so you've got to open it from the bottom, do that, and then cut the zip ties around to get it out. I preserved the box. Now, inside the box, there's a nice label there that tells you where the USB cable is down here, and then your instruction booklet. Now, the Bluetooth pen was powered, but I actually charged it for a little while before, so it's all set to go. Now, you can use the globe as is right out of the box. You don't have to download the app unless you want to do the augmented reality, and then you don't have to update your pen to their website. That's entirely up to you. You get a free year of updates. And here's what I'll do. I'll put all those steps in a description area, but a couple things I can tell you now. If you want to download the app, which I did, the one main thing you need to do, there is a pullout section here, which is really cool. And there's a special scan inside here. This is the one you scan through your app to register it. Now what I could do is give you a quick screenshot and show you there's a little gear icon in the corner. Let me show you that. You click on that and that's when you scan our little QR code there. And then that allows the augmented reality to be uh, registered with your globe. Simple as that. Now when you get to the website, here let me let this spin. There is a link. I'll put that up on the screen. I also have that in the description area. You go there, you download it, and then you follow the steps all along. Now it comes with language inside, but you can change the languages. And those are all on the screen. I'll give you a quick screenshot of that. And then you can plug in your pen and it hooks up to your pen and then downloads all the most current information. So that's important if you want to do that. So now that I've done all that, I am set to check out the globe. Now remember, you don't have to do that, but I wanted to make sure we did everything exactly like they specified. All right, so as you can see, the globe does spin this way, which is nice. Now, unlike many globes, you get this extra axis spin here. So if you want to look at the bottom at Antarctica, you can, right? It spins really nice. Now it stands, I measured it, about 16 inches tall, just around that. So that's a nice size. Now there are no electronics in the globe or the base section. It's all working through this USB uh, plugged in, but it's got Bluetooth and headphones too. Now they also say in the instructions, you could buy extra of these. So if you have a couple kids, they could be playing at the same time. And one could, they both could have headphones in and be listening to what they're doing. And then... This, of course, is where you plug the USB in, and this is how I was able to connect it to my computer and also charge it. So that does both things. Now, I can turn this on right now. You hold it for a second, and this changes to blue. And listen now. Here's the speaker. Watch. It's like a space shuttle. Cool, huh? And now it's going to talk to us. Welcome to the Oregon 
scientific smart plug. There's a volume control here. There's a little tiny reset for a pin. So I can turn it up and down. Now since it's using Bluetooth, when I touch things on my globe, wait. Touch any button with your smart pen see? to select an activity. Then okay. touch the globe for more information. Okay, let's touch a demo. There is a lot of information here I'll hold this up here so we live in. Learn about geography, world history, different cultures, and the natural environment. Compare the landscapes of different countries. Check out the flying time and local time before your vacation. Flying time? Ooh, that's not... Oh, it's right here. Compare. Watch. Flying time. To compare the flying time, touch two places. Okay, I'm going to go from the United States. The United States of America. And I want to fly all the way to Australia. Second point, Australia. The flying time is about 17 hours, 39 minutes. How cool is that? All right, so let's just see here. I'll tell you what. Let me reset up here. Come in. I want to zoom into this, but I want to set it up just right so you could... We'll go over the whole front panel, and then I'll kind of turn the globe around and show you the back, the sides, and all of that next. All right, so this is what the front panel looks like. Now you have the touch, meaning you touch any of these, and you can get this information. Compare, so you can compare populations, areas, so you have to touch two times on the globe. Find, you can find these different things it's part of the games knowledge will just give you amazing facts earth facts and world news three different age categories here let me turn this on oh you got to hold it just a second then it turns blue language i can switch the language number of players this is the demo here i'll just show you language spanish so, Touch the check mark now if i hit confirm. check now oh Oh, it reset. Hold on. Para comparar moneda. Okay. En dos English. Let's go Touch back to English. To confirm. So it does take a second for it to register that. All right, so back to where I was. Number of players. Two, player three, players four. So players four is the maximum. We'll go back down one to one. Player. Now this is a repeat. Like, point. If I hit this, it'll reset what it just point. said. And then this pauses but we don't want to do that and then that's pretty much it on the front now so there's no electronics in here like i said it's all in the actual pen so it's important to download that if you want to get all the recent updates this pulls out and then this is where the globe sits it's also where i store the usb cable which is nice and then it shows you how to set up the globe see this globe opens it's really cool i didn't want to spoil it for you but that's also on this and then you will use this in some of the games i think it is local places local places find and so now it's going to ask me different states here here i'll just show you i'll press the wrong one here, i'm going to touch i'll touch the wrong one so that you guys can see what it's going to tell me it's going to fine tune me here well i'll go right above it look for it next to missouri Okay, so next to Missouri. There. Okay, see how that works? And you have to be pretty pinpoint precise when you're playing in here. I'll touch another wrong one. Now it's going to give me a little guidance. All right, so that is that. So this becomes a functional piece. The back, nothing there. This is your storage for your Bluetooth right there. Sits in there nice. Nothing here, nothing on the bottom. This is the locks where it locked into the bottom. That's about it down there. It's got nice rubber feet, so it will stay pretty tight on the tabletop. All right, so enough of that. I think we need to show you the app, which I have all set and downloaded, and then do some more things on the globe. Let's just say I want to find time. I want to find the time in Mongolia. Mongolia. See that? Monday, September 11th. Wow, it's already tomorrow. 2017. Hmm. Australia, 11, 11. Monday, September. Isn't that cool? 11th. Two. All right, so if I want to find the population, to the population, population between India, India and Pakistan. Second point, Pakistan population. 
India is about 6.32 times bigger than Pakistan. How cool is that? And then uh, let's say we did distance, time, the currency. What's the currency? And let's see. And the People's Republic of China. China. And then let's do let's do India again, right? Here. India. Oh, did it not register? Second point, China currency one Indian rupee in India equals of two zero point one one Renmin B in China. Okay, let's say amazing facts amazing here. Amazing facts. I'll let it play out. I keep putting the pen up here, so if you see it off to the side, it's because I'm trying to put it closer to the... Cut. The greatest recorded thickness of ice is 2.97 miles, measured by radio echo soundings from a U.S. Antarctic research aircraft. All right, so there's also the scale on here. Some more little information here, probably pinpointing areas here. You have the numbers going around here with the little gauge going around. And then, well, let's do this. I think we've checked out some of these features. Let's see, let's just, uh, world news. Hmm. What's going on in the world? Argentine Republic. Oh. Ooh, national anthems, watch. National anthem. Botswana. How cool is that now? It's like all the information you need at your fingertips. All right, so I think we want to check out the inside of this. Let me reset here, come back, and then I'll take this out, and then we'll look at the inside. Okay, here we go. Let's get this out. Now you want to just set this down. It's the base for the globe itself. And then right up here at the top is this little blue button. You press it. That releases it. The globe will come out. Now I'll set this base down here like this. This is really neat. You're going to like this. I think it's pretty cool. And then there's these two tabs here. You just pull them apart. And now you're inside your globe. Check that out. How cool is that? Now some of the glare here like this is not actual planets. It's just my lighting up top. But it kind of gives you a good idea what you can play with now. Now you turn on your pen and you got even more information to play here. Here we go. Fly away. Wait. Okay, so now see this section here? Layer, thickness, did you know, and the state. And then name, size, orbit, moons, observation, games, traveling time. Did you know? So let's just see. Layer. What's the layer? Okay, let's touch the Earth's interior. Sure. Inner core. between the Earth's crust and mantle would be an important scientific milestone. But despite decades of effort, no one has yet succeeded. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure. Will we click up here? Mesosphere. Oh, yeah, the we can. Asthenophere, heat from deep within Earth, is thought to keep the asthenophere malleable, lubricating the undersized okay, let me, uh... conic plates and allowing them size. Jupiter. Jupiter has a radius of 43,440.7 miles. 11 t Did you know? Mars. Mars has a much I want to see if the repeat on the base will work for this. So Hold on. From the sun easily. Mars. Ah, it Mars does. So I've touched it on the base. Remember that little repeat button here? So heat from the sun. I just paused it. And I just unpaused it. Okay, so that's how that works. On Mars. The temperatures range from Minus 193 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. Here, let's do traveling, traveling time. Traveling time. Jupiter. Jupiter is more than 10 times as far from the Earth as Mars. Ah, cool. If traveling from Earth by airplane at a speed of 620 miles per hour. Here, hold it up here. It would take about 67 years to reach Jupiter. Wow. But we can't really land on Jupiter because it has no solid surface. Okay. There you go. So now, just to put that back, you take your main section, take this, 
close it up. Okay, and this is on a little spring, so you just line up the bottom, put that in, you push this down, and then it locks back in. Now there you go. All right, almost done showing you the globe. Let me do a few more things. I just want to play a little bit more, and then I'll wrap it up after that. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. I am on the app now. A couple sections here. Well, my little friend here will pop out if I click on him, and then I can press him and he talks to you. There's different areas here where you have to unlock different things, and I have not been able to unlock anything yet. Little gear icon here which kind of gives you information about the game and all of that stuff. Okay. Hey, have you seen me? <laughs> now, if I want to go to a Wikipedia here, it's like a little informational section here that lets you uh, just learn about things, basically. Let me just let it go here. So you can select Europe, countries around the world. So now I can enlarge, see? And then click on the flags. Okay, so that's in there. Hey, have you seen me? <laughs> no, I've seen yes, I've seen you down there. Now, if I want to do augmented reality, I click on that. It's gonna load up. And then you have to hold this at the right distance from of the map. The globe that is, sorry. So you pick a section here, I'm trying to get this here, show it to you, and, all right, I'm hitting, hitting buttons. Okay, so let's say Pakistan, once you hit the right area, it will, let's see if I can get it to do it on India, a little bit closer. Oh, things pop up, did you see that? Now if I click on them, so now I can expand him, make him bigger, I can spin him around and look at him. Okay. Ooh, look at this plumage. All right, so if I X this, I can keep scanning different areas of the map. Let's see. You got to get it just right on the... Oh, there. Look at him. Look how big he gets. So now, there's a take a photo feature here, which will let you take a photo with the object that's on the screen. You can either take it that direction or front facing, depending on how you want to set it. So you just travel around then your globe, looking for different landmarks and things to check out. Yeah, let's see if we get something in the United States. Oh, there we go. The Blue Jay is native to North America. The Blue Jay. Okay, so that is the augmented reality part. So there is a whole nother area of learning and knowledge. And we have now checked out the globe. Pretty cool. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have all the information on all the steps I took to get everything working so that you can explore as much as possible. Again, you could just take it right out of the box and play with it as is. But if you want the app and then to update the pen to different languages, you have to download some software. So I'll give you that information. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, Pick it up!